Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in our last video, we installed Kali Linux in our Hyper 5 manager. And today in this video, we are going to install it in VMware Workstation Pro. So this is my VMware Workstation Pro. So let's open it. And here you can see that I already have some machines running and we are going to create a new virtual machine. So first we need the ISO file. So I'm going to Kali.org and then you will see the download button. So click on it and we have to select the installer images. So click on the recommended button. And then we can download the ISO file from here. So as soon as you click on the download button, it will start the downloading. But I already have it downloaded, so I don't need to download it again. So you can see that I have it downloaded. So we can continue to our virtual machine. So let's minimize and open VMware Workstation Pro. So here we have to go to home and click on create a new virtual machine. And we are going to select custom advanced. And here we have to select the ISO file. So click on installer disk image file and then select the ISO file for Kali Linux. So this is our file. Okay. And we can go click next. And here we will select Linux and the latest version. So other Linux 6.x and kernel. Okay. 64 bit. And here we have to give it a name. So Kali Linux and the version is 2024.4, which is the latest one on the website. And here we have to assign the processor. So number of processors, I'm going to say, let's say four and the number of cores two. So total processor course will be eight. So click next and we have to give it a RAM memory as well. So I'm going to select four gigabytes, which should be enough. And uh, for networking, network address translation and this input output controller, we can leave it. So uh, SSD, we are selecting NVMe SSD and we have to create a new virtual disk. So I'm going to put, let's say 30 gigabytes size. So 30 should be enough and we are going to store all the files in single file. So click next and finish. So we have created our virtual machine. So let's power it on. And there we go. Our installation has started. So you can see that we have the GUI and we have to press the enter button. So graphical install. And it's booting. So let's select the language. So English and I'm going to select UK. Continue and British English. So now it will finish all the necessary steps, including the networking files and other important files. So we have to wait a little bit and I'm going to fast forward this video. So here now you can see that it is setting up the network hardware and uh, waiting for link local address, attempting IPv6 auto configuration. And now it is configuring the network with DSCP. And here we have to give it a host name. So I'm going to leave Kali and domain name will be test VM. Continue. And now we have to create a new user. So I'm going to create test user and the password for the test user. Okay. And now it is setting up the clock and now we have to set up the uh, drive. So we have to uh, do the partitioning and all those things. So partition disk setting up the partitioner. So it's starting it. Okay. And here we are going to use guided use entire disk and set up LVM. LVM is logical volume manager. And I'm going to separate the home var and temporary files directory. So these will be separated partitions. So continue. And we are going to press yes. Okay. And now it will say ask for the size. So I'm going to leave the default size. And here it is saying that uh, it has created all these partitions and everything is separated. So press yes to write the changes to the disk and uh, it will continue. So now it is installing the base system. So obviously I'm fast forwarding the video. It will take around five to 10 minutes. So select and install software and we have to select some files here. So I'm going to unselect the last option only because I had some issues and it gives error while you are installing. So these are all for the graphical user interface and important tools. So I'm going to unselect the last one only and continue. And now it will ask for the display manager soon. So we are going to select light display manager. And now we have to wait a little bit until it install all the files and uh, the softwares which we have selected. So it will take around 10 minutes. 
so as you can see that i have fast forward the, the video and uh, it's almost finished now it is going to install the grub bootloader so that uh, after we finish the installation we can boot in our virtual machine so cleaning up and now you can see that uh, it is uh, uh, saying select and install software so installing grub bootloader so bootloader is very important when you are uh, booting any file system or any system so press yes install the grub bootloader so that it can boot properly and we have to select the device so we are going to install in this one so ok continue so finishing up the installation and continue to restart So now you can see that our virtual machine is loading now so press enter and uh, it's ready for, uh, for your use so let's wait okay so our kali linux is loading now and there we go so it's asking for the user so we have created test user so i'm going to put test user here and then the password for the test user that we have created and login so you can see that we are inside our Kali Linux so it's uh, working properly and it has booted up so if you see here that okay we are running our virtual machine in VMware and on the top left you have the menu option so let's go to the menu so here you will find all the necessary tools that you can use and we are going to explore them later in our coming videos and this is our terminal so we can do sudo apt update which will update all the links and repositories from the official website so you can see that this is the official website and it is reading all the packages and it will update the packages and their links and then we can do sudo apt upgrade so it will download them one by one and install them so that you have all the latest updates so when you press yes it is going to download a lot of files so i hope that you have understood all the necessary steps and if you have any difficulties while installation or if you have any questions you can ask them in the comment section and i will reply as soon as possible so i will see you in the next video where we are going to explore the tools and some other tech videos so thanks for watching